Welcome to the po Collins Pearly Complex, ladies and gentlemen. We are back for another exciting match with the BFA Comets taking on Burton Burton Bulldogs from Manchester, Vermont. Now, all I got to say about that bus ride up is, brr, that's a long, long haul up. I mean, furthest point you can get from the, and still be in the state. But uh, we're very appreciative for uh, the, the Bulldogs making their trip up. Should be a great match. Uh, a lot of green and gold out here looking at both sides. Um, we're getting ready to do an open announcements for the, the ladies, and uh, we'll step aside and let that come through in just a minute. But before that happens, I'm going to go ahead and reach out to our uh, our sponsors, our wonderful sponsors, make this uh, broadcast you know able to for all of us to see. So this broadcast would not be possible without our community partners. And a thank you to Northwestern Rehab Services, Sticks and Stuff, Swanton Lumber, Northwest Counseling Support Services, Afterglow. Stones Auto Repair, location in St. Albans, East Fairfield, Notch, Vermont, JC Image, Union Bank, and the Collins Pearly Sports Fitness Center. If your business would like to support the efforts of Northwest Access TV to help broadcast live games for county athletes, contact us at 802-782-8676. And we'll step aside here for John Coffey to do his announcements. Smith just announced at number 28, folks, and we're at number 19, but has jersey switch for today. Steele starting the match of the comments. First start of the year for Tommy.
There we go. Wonderful rendition again by the Comets down on that blue line, singing loud and proud. A good good sign. See uh, one of our officials back on the ice, Derek Tatro. He had a hamstring uh, injury probably about two weeks ago. So it looks like he's moving around all right. We'll keep an eye on, it, on Derek and give him an official rating at the end of the game. It should be interesting. The girl, like I said, the Lady Bulldogs coming up out of uh, Manchester, Vermont. It's, it's a over a three hour ride on a cold day. I know it was around 16, 19 degrees and really didn't, can't get comfortable on a bus <laughs> for that distance, but we'll see how they come out with the skate. Comets are starting, uh, looks like it'd be their, normally their, their third line. So we'll see how, uh, how the girls respond. I'm sure that, you know, they're gonna be hungry. It's a good, good group of skaters. This is one of the uh, third year I've been watching our, our girls' comments play up here, and this will be the first time uh, we've seen them matched up with the Burn Burton Bulldogs. So I really no idea what we're going to see until, uh, until the puck drops and we get rolling. Ray Alexander is going to be, actually this is our second line, Ray Alexander is going to on uh, facing off with uh, Amber Pocket on left wing and Gabby Freight is on right wing. Johnson and Smith. Jillian Smith and Marley Johnson on the blue line. One face off one by Burton Burton, sent down into the common zone, picked up by Johnson behind the net, backhands it across to Jillian Smith on the other side of the net. Jillian looks up, was looking middle for Alexander. Now she spins and goes up the boards, but she intercepted. Pinched in by number 12 for the Bulldogs, Kaylin Downey. Puck is now picked up by Alexander behind the net. She's skating, stops short of the blue line. Passes across Jillian Smith. Jillian tries to chip it high. She does get it through up to Gabby Frady's. Gabby into the zone. Good pressure on Gabby by number 21, Katie Brownlee. Puck on net by Pocket and save made by today's goalie, uh, Kyra Pitt Patcher for uh, the Bulldogs. Face off will be to Patcher's. I'm going to assume it's going to be her. Oh, it's going to be on her left side, blocker side, glove side for Kyra. Down that little corner, I can't quite see from this angle, but Bree Jairus out to take the face off of uh, number 12 for the Bulldogs, Kaylin Downey. One by Jairus, but uh, could not be handled by Cushion, but it's, it is chipped back down in the zone. Jairus gets it, chips it over to Cushion. Cushion goes, looks, looks to go back in the middle, but it's intercepted by the Bulldogs. Number number three for the Bulldogs. Maya Duncan clears it out of the zone, but it's picked up onto Caster Stick. Caster throws it up by a second for Jarvis, but intercepted by number 21, Downey, or Brownlee, excuse me. Dumped deep in the cat zone, or common zone, picked up by Caster. Caster goes over to Cushing, into her skates. Hard to play, two Bulldogs there to, to do battle. Thrown back in the corner and be picked up by Jarvis. Jarvis whips around the opposite direction, but loses the puck right out in front. Number three steps by the Bulldogs. Duncan for a shot on the... Steele, and Steele makes a first save on, on the first shot of the game. Jarvis chips it up off the boards to herself, but now she's rather than fall puck, they're going for a full line change. Good, good change by the Comets. Here comes uh, number four for the Bulldogs, Edwards. Edwards goes deep and pressured by the Comets, pushed her deep behind the net, and not able to get a shot on. Now the puck's spun over to number three for the Bulldogs, back up to number 11 on the blue line. Palego, Palego loses it. Kate Storm comes out with it. Number 17 for the Bulldogs, Abigail Kopeck and Abby, Addy Parent doing battle. Puck is now in the Bulldog zone. Got Mia Glory going in the corner. Stop short as the Bulldog player gets to it first and throws it up the boards. Good pressure by Richards on the blue line to, to force a pass right into one of our waiting skaters, but it does end up going all the way back down to the Comet zone. Jillian Matthews throws it up the boards into a pile of bodies. He's on the blue line now, Skyler Smith with a half a slap shot, which is still a pretty good slap shot from the blue line right on to Steele. Steele makes a glove save and holds on for the whistle. Good shot by Smith, Skyler there, number 28. She normally wears 19, but uh, I mean, there's a jersey issue. Like as in, I left it at home. So she's wearing 28 today. Alexander on a draw. One by Byrne Burton, down in the corner. Alexander picks it up, goes behind the net, stops, goes the other way, reverse the direction. She's got pocket up high, chips it to the boards, pocket 
gets stepped in to on, by number nine, Zoe Duncan, for the chip in and, and keeps it back in the zone. Picked up by Alexander, thrown over to Smith. Smith up to Frady's. Frady's is pinched at the blue line. Puck is kept in by number 18, Livingston for the Bulldogs. Bouncing around center ice, number 12 for the Bulldogs. Kalen Downey throws it deep. It's going to be picked up by Smith. Jillian behind the net, stops, goes the other way. Still goes to Caster. Caster chips up to the, the boards. Pocket. Pocket is getting pinched in on by number nine. Great job by the Bulldogs pitch in Zoe Duncan. Puck do, does finally clear the zone. Now it's going to be picked up by Caster the blue line. She's got a little room. She's going to skate. Trying to dump it, goes in off the pads and held at the blue line by number 12. Kaylin Downey, everybody had to retreat because they're, they're across the blue line at the dump and it never made it. Good job by Downey to keep it out. Puck is now sent deep in the Bulldogs. Comet's going for a full line change, picked up behind the net by number 21. Brownlee, Brownlee throws it up ice, looking for number four, Mia Elias Edwards. Goes deep, but picked up by Johnson. Johnson wheels and turns, throws it up ice. She's looking for Ferraro. Ferraro throws it up ice, looking to get Jarvis, but now it's on the stick of Cushion. Cushion makes a nice little move, steps in the blue line. She's going to take the shot. Good shot on, on net again. Cushing never, I didn't say never, but rarely does she miss the net. Puck is now coming out by the Bulldogs. Good back check by Jarvis, taking off the stick of number 10, Kayla Peterson, on the stick of uh, Arlie Richards. Richards has made a couple moves, passing herself off the boards. Now it's on to Jarvis' stick. Good pressure by the Bulldogs. Two people on a puck at all times. Here comes Jarvis, got some speed, a little move. She's going wide. She's got shot off the blocker behind the net, picked back up by Jarvis, following her shot again. Looking at Richards, but turns around and retreats in the zone. Cleared by the, the Bulldogs. This one's going to be on net, steal by <laughs> ready. Those long shots are dumping, you never know. Going to be picked up by Richards, pressured by number 12, Kalen Downey. Rich, Richard throws it around, looking to get it to, to a Ferraro stick, but it bounces off a referee skate and comes out, in the, out into the center ice area. Richards got the puck in deep. She flicks it up to Cushing, just bounced over her stick, still in the zone. Pushing down a little touch pass to Jarvis. Jarvis makes a little move, takes a step around another person, and she passes up to Ferraro at the center ice. Ferraro's dumping it in. The rest of the comments are coming for a change. Ferraro takes a shot low in the zone. You know, you never know. Off the pads of the defender, though, number 11, Mia Pelego. Gets it up ice, and it's going to be icing. It's nothing, no real solid shots by either team. I mean, it's, there's been good, de good defense and Protecting the goalie, forcing the shots from out wide. Comets have got to start moving that puck. This is a team where they can move the puck against. Uh, you know, start using each other and spread the zone and get your open shots. We'll see. I'm sure they'll get there. Alexander on the draw with number four. Mia Edwards, one by Edwards, brought out by number 10. Kaya Peterson, good pressure by Alexander on Peterson, forcing her to dump it in. It's going to be picked up by... Julian Matthews behind the net, throws it over to Amber Pocket on a far hash. Pocket just lost the puck off her heel of her stick, looking for Alexander, but it does end up getting there. Alexander inside the zone, nice little pass to McGinn, who's coming into the zone. McGinn takes a high shot, sent to the side off the top of the stick, above the blocker. A patcher. This puck is still out in front. Little backhand attempt by Frades. Picked up, good, good body control. You know, the bodies are in front of the net by the Bulldogs, keeping the puck away from the goalie. Brady's in the corner of the puck. Puck is thrown up to Edwards. Or Brownlee, excuse me. Good pinch by McGinn. But it gets by her and goes the length of the ice for an icing. Both teams are doing a, a fine job of uh, uh, pinching in on the, on the blue line, but the Bulldogs are aggressive on their pinch. If, uh, we, if somebody can pop by that pinching defenseman, they're going to have a, a lot of open ice in front of them. Fitzgerald will be on the uh, the draw. Braylon Fitzgerald against uh, number 12, Downey. One by Fitzgerald, but picked up by a Bulldog wing. Throwing up ice, and she's looking for number 18. Just gets ahead of her. Carmella Livingston picked up by Jillian Smith. Backhand up the Lanfear. Lanfear gets it clear of the zone. It was right on the edge. Skyler doesn't think so, but Skyler, that was offsides. Just a just a half a puck across the blue line. And it's it's out. Outside the common zone, Fitzgerald ties it up pretty well, but Bulldogs able to get control and fill it in the zone. Gonna be picked up by Jillian Smith behind the net. Jillian stops, goes back the other way. 
Nobody there. Number three steps in, Maya Duncan. But she had nowhere to go with the puck. Ends up going out back behind the net. And now it's Mia Delore up at the blue line with a pinching in Mia Palego. Now it comes back to blue line number 12. Throws it towards the net. Kaelin Downing was blocked by Fitzgerald into the corner. There's Delore. There's Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald with a nice, strong bump off the boards. Clear the zone. Puck is now picked up by Skylar Smith inside the Bulldogs. Looking way up ice for number three. Good pass by Smith to Maya Duncan. Duncan all alone, throws it through four Comets. Kick to the side in the corner is Dye Steele with a save. They're picked up by number four for the Bulldogs, Mia Lee Edwards. A little trip, no call. Jarvis is able to pick herself back up. Gets it clear of the zone. It was like a little slashing hack at the ankles. I think they're going for the puck, but. Now Jarvis has got the puck at the red center ice. He's got little confusion of bodies there. She finally gets some open space, makes a move, and heads up ice. She's got uh, Ferraro and Cushing, and she lets a ripper go from inside the blue line. It sneaks inside the post for the first goal of the game. Nice low slap shot by Jarvis. She had Ferraro and uh, Cushing both wide. They kind of were waiting to see what Jarvis was going to do, and, and Bree had enough room. She just teed it up and let it go, and that was two, three inches off the ice. Just snuck past the goalie inside the post for the first goal. 7.27 left in the first, one nothing comments. One by Jarvis over to Cushing that chipped into the Bulldog zone. Cushing is given chase with number nine for the Bulldogs, Zoe Duncan. He's got the puck behind the net. Good pressure by Cushing, keeping her there behind the net. Up ice now, comes the Bulldog, number four, Edwards with the puck. She's looking for number 10. Peterson, but, but there's Jarvis there to pick up the puck. Great back checking by Bree. She's got Ferraro behind her. Cushing peels off, going for a line change. Now Ferraro just dumps it deep at the blue line, and here comes Jarvis and Ferraro. Richards and uh, Matthew stay on the, at the point. 17 for the, the Bulldogs, throws one in on Steele. The little rebound comes out right onto Alexander Stick. A little confusion coming out of the zone. But the puck is finally clear. Here comes uh, Amber Pocket. Going, going down the boards hard. You gotta put that puck with you, between the, you and the boards and uh, keep it away from their prying sticks. And then it comes all the way back out. Richard picks it up deep in our zone. Pressured by number three, Duncan. Richard throws it up ice to Pocket, but she good pinch by number 12, Downey. Really doing a good job staying on the puck, but now Alexander picks it up. She gets it in the zone. Kept, keep, kept keeping the puck between her and the boards like she should. Good job, Gray. Throws it over to the middle of the Amber Pocket, but it's intercepted by Skyler Smith. Skyler skates it out across the red line. It just does a backhand dump just wide of the net. We picked up by McGinn. McGinn backhands it up to Pocket. Pocket chips it up the boards. It's going to go too far for icing. A little softer on that. She had Alexander just ahead of her. Maybe a little softer chip, and Ray can pick that up and take a run. The face off is going to be down in the common zone. Going to be on Dolly Steele's glove hand, her left side. Addie Parent on the draw. Kate Storm and Lamphere on her wings. Lamphere set up wide. Oh, it was a good attempt to get the puck over to Lamphere wide, but uh, Burn Burton was there to put a little pressure, but the D was, was the common D stood strong enough to get that puck clear of the zone. McGinn goes up ice, hits Lamphere, and Lamphere gets it out of the zone. Addie Parent's giving chase. Bulldogs are throwing it back around, and now Parent picks it back up in their zone. One of those just, you know, trying to chuck the puck clear of the zone and ends up uh, on a Comet stick. Good pressure by the Comets. Good job by Addie Parent. There, Case Storm sneaking over there, trying to do a little rub out. Puck is clear, brought up ice by Peterson for the Bulldogs. Throws one in on steel. Bouncing puck. That'll be a goal for Peterson right there. It was uh, Kay Peterson. Throws one in from the top of the circle, and it was one of those knuckleball pucks. Steele goes down with a, you know, pad save. It bounces into her glove and rolls over her arm, her arm for a goal. Tough, tough shot. Uh, I'm a goalie dad. I do not like seeing bouncing pucks. It's tough. It's a tough puck to play for the goalies. So game is tied up. 1-1. 5-13 left in the first period. Face off one by Baron Burton. Number nine is 
brought back in the zone. Zoe Duncan's got the puck, throws it up the boards, but there's Jarvis and Ferraro there to give her pressure. Jarvis just turns around and throws one on the goalie. Puck cleared to the side. Jillian Smith picks up the blue line, throws it in off a pad of the Burn Burton. She throws another one deep. Another little trip. Not a lot of, I mean, girls are, it's an obvious trip and it's just not being called tonight. Puck is in the common zone. Caster throws it up off the boards, looking to clear the zone, but it bounces a little shallow and Bree Jarvis picks it up. She takes a little turn, wheels around. She hits Cushing. Cushing's got the puck. She's got Ferraro to her side. Backhands over to Ferraro. For, oh, nice little pass by Ferraro as the defenseman was pinching in to try to intercept that pass, and Ferraro stepped in, side hat move. And, but doing so, uh, it kind of delayed the puck entrance into the zone, and Cushing was going full steam ahead for an offsides. Jarvis on a draw with number four, Edwards. Brought back to Jillian Matthews. Jillian just behind the red line, gets it across the red line, dumps it in, throws it just as wide of the net, and Jarvis and Cushing are giving chase. Good pressure by Jarvis on number 21. Brownlee for the dunk for the Bulldogs. The puck does clear. Richards throws it back in and ends up going a little high and bounces into Jarvis's chest and back down on her stick. Gets through two, three. Three Burn Burton players, but loses the puck at the blue line. And he picked up by Amber Pocket, and then Amber gets it chipped off her stick by number four, Edwards. It's just going back and forth on that blue line. They can't get it. They can't keep, we can't keep it in, and they can't get it out. Pass up to Alexander. She's looking for Frady's. A lot of bodies right there. A lot of Bulldogs there to tie Frady's up, but now the puck is back on Frady's stick. She does a little wheel by the circle. Back up to Richard. Richard takes a low wrist shot in. Still waiting to see Arlie do a roof raker. The girl's got a slap shot. I want to see it. Puck is deep in the corner with, with Frades and Alexander. Two Bulldog players, and another one goes down. They're getting a little chippy. Alexander now coming out of the corner of the puck. She's going to throw it back to Richard. Richard's got some time. Throws a high shot. One of those arcing shots. It was going right for that top corner, but knocked down by a Bulldog. Puck in the corner. Richard throws it on net. Low pad save by the goalie. Patcher kicked over the corner and picked up by uh, uh, Amber Pocket. Amber gets down below the goal line. She's trying to back in out front, but loses control a little bit and ends up going all the way around behind the net. Gonna be picked up by Jarvis. No, that's, that's Addy Parent, excuse me. Another shot by Richards on, on net. There's three shots right there in a row by Arlie Richards on net. Good job, Arlie. Puck is now cleared by the Bulldogs. Arlie's picking it up. She looks real great. Great move by Richards. Picks up the pass, turns around, finds Matthews up ice and throws it up and looking for a quick offensive run. Puck is going to be iced by the Bulldogs. So Richards retreated. Um, and this is what I love to see. She, she is fully aware of where her players were behind her as she retreated um, on a hot rail there to get that puck. She grabbed the puck, instantly turned around. She picked up cross ice. Matthews on the red line. Hit her with a nice pass. Matthews was able to get that up to her forward and then got back in the zone for an opportunity. Good job, Arlie. Draw one by uh, Addy Parent. Back to the defense. Number 17, McGinn. McGinn takes a high shot into a bunch of bodies. Never know. And there it is. Kate Storm. Backhand. Picks up a rebound. Good on a great attempt by McGinn. Storm picks up a rebound. Backhands it. Deflects off a of burn, burn player. And inside the same post that Jarvis just previously ripped a blast through. There we go, Kate. Big smile. Let's get that Canadian vibe going right there, eh? 2-1 Comets. 2.28 left in the first. Draw one by Parent, pushed up forward, and great pressure by Parent after the draw. You got Mia Delore right there, keeping a puck in the zone. Mia's a, just, she's a, a little dagger, working hard. Good pressure again, keeping a puck goal behind the net is Delore. And you got Parent, good step in by Johnson, but it gets past her on the bounce. McGinn comes over, picks it up, throws it up, to Ferraro, a little bit of a pastor stick, and it goes past in the Bulldog zone, picked up by the Bulldog defense. Now number 11 takes it, throws it back over Skylar Smith. Smith takes it, throws it up ice, looking for number three, Duncan. It's turned around by the Comets, and now Cushing's got it inside their zone. Duncan picks it up, turns, just throws it out of the zone. It's going to be offsides if they don't clear. It should be offsides, but it's not. Comets got, got a little free play. Puck is now deep in the corner. Jarvis has got it. Coming out of the corner, wheeling, staying back down there, low, waiting, looking for somebody. She's got Cushing. Cushing should now switch places with it, but she's just kind of trailing in front of her. They'll figure that out. Puck comes back to Jarvis on a little misplay, and then she takes a shot wide of the net, behind the net, picked up by Jarvis again. And Jarvis is going to come 
Started to come back up the boards. It turns, goes deep in the corner again. Stepping about in front of the net. Makes a couple moves on the cushion stick. Cushion throws it in the net. Off the leg pad. Goes to the corner by Patcher. Back out to McGinn in the blue line. McGinn whiffs on the shot. It's picked up by number 12. But then McGinn reach, just back checks and gets the puck. And then just hand swats it into the zone. It's going to be picked up by uh, number 17 Bulldogs, but Cushing's there to pressure her off the puck. And now Johnson's there to keep it out of the common zone. It's right at center ice. Picked up by number nine, Duncan, Zoe Duncan. Tries to throw it in, but goes off the pads of Cushing and deep in the Bulldogs zone. Bulldogs come back out ice, looking for a pass. Goes past their intended receiver up to Arley Richards. Arley throws it up to Bree Jarvis. You got Bree and Cushing. Two on two, G Bree goes around number 21, takes a little step back in the net, goes wide. 30 seconds left, Cushing picking it up, throws it up to Arley Richards, Arley takes it. Throws another lobbing, bouncing shot in, goes wide off a of pad, and gonna be picked up by Caster. Backhands it towards the net, but gonna be picked up by the Bulldogs and brought out of the zone. 17 seconds left, 21 for the Bulldogs. Brownlee coming in, she gets tangled up with a bunch of commas, wait for her inside the blue line. Puck is now to the side, Amber Pocket has it, she tries to chip it out. It makes it. It clears. Bulldogs throw it back in. It'll end here. There we go, folks. We got a 2-1 game. Um, both teams are having some chances. The Comets definitely having a lot more opportunities uh, putting that puck on the goalie. Comet defense is uh, doing a great job uh, sealing off before the Bulldogs can get too aggressive inside the zone. But they need to pick up the, their pace. If they're playing against a team um, of the Bulldogs, caliber right now they, they need to start working on their game so prepare them for the rest of the season they gotta start moving a puck looking for each other using each other a little more but i want to reach out to our uh, wonderful sponsors and this broadcast would not be possible without our community partners and thank you to northwestern rehab services sticks and stuff swanton lumber northwest counseling and support services afterglow stones auto repair st Albans and east fairfield notch vermont jc image union bank and the collins pearly sports fitness center if your business would like to support the efforts of Northwest Access TV to help broadcast live games of Franklin County athletes, please contact us at 802-782-8676. And we'll see you guys in about uh, 15 minutes.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at the Collins Pearly Sports Complex on a blistery cold night. Down in the still uh, double digits, but it's uh, real close to the teens. Uh, Burn Burton playing our BFA comments. We got a 2 1 score after one. Uh, goals by Bree Jarvis and Kate Storm. Then on the other end, uh, Burn Burton, I, it was number, if I get this right. Let me see here. I don't have the score sheet up here with me. I believe that was uh, Peterson, I think, who did, took the shot. A little nice bouncing shot. Here we got a lot of uh, viewers online. I'm pretty sure they're out there from the southern area of this state. Now, I want to welcome you Burn Burton fans. Hope you enjoy the broadcast. And uh, don't be afraid to reach out and uh, you know, let us know if we're mispronouncing the name or, <laughs> or anything, if you want to hear something. But we're going to have uh, Alexander here for the comments doing the draw. Facing off with number four, Maylise Edwards for the Bulldogs. Pocket and Brady's on the wing. And we got number 17, Abigail Kopek. I believe that is number 12, Kaylin Downey for the wings on the Bulldog side. Smith and Brownlee on the blue line. One by the Bulldogs, but uh, picked back up by Jarvis into the zone to Pocket. Pocket rips one. Nice pad saved by Patcher. Pocket picks up her own shot, throws it back to the Matthews, but it bounces past Matthew stick and out of the zone. Now Richards is it, loses it in her skate. Matthews picks it up in the common zone, throws it over to to Alexander. Alexander stays on the blue line a little bit and waits to clear some room and passes it up ice to Frady's. Frady's cross blue line, looks steps to the center. Throwing it down, looking for Pocket, but Pocket overskated into the going to the net, and so the puck went in the corner. He picked up by Alexander, but kicked back to Pocket behind the net. Pocket looks to backhand it back toward the other side of the net to Alexander, but it's picked up by the Bulldogs and cleared. And here comes Edwards with the puck. Loses it at the red line. Picked up by Richard. Richard throws it back up to the, the Bulldogs, and, and there's Frady's over there with number 21, Brownlee. Brownlee gets it clear of the zone, throws it deep. Skyler Smith behind the net to pick up the puck. Skyler attempting to clear it up ice, kicks off cushion stick, but goes right on to number 12 stick. Downey, Downey clears it and brings it deep into the Comet zone. Still with the puck, it's Downey. She looks up, up ice, the blue line throws it back to number 18 of the point. Carmelo Livingston, Livingston throws it in, but it goes off the skate of uh, Richards to the corner. Richards now has a, is uh, doing battle with number three. Duncan, Duncan goes down. Puck is picked up by Cushing and brought behind the net. And she's taking a little wheel and coming up ice, but it's kept in the blue line by number nine. Zoe Duncan, Duncan throws it deep, goes all the way around the net and be picked up by Richards. Good pressure on Richards by number 12, Kalen Downey. Puck is still below the net and here comes Jarvis. Jarvis has got a little extra steam here, folks. She's got some room, she gets by. Goes full, full pass cross ice to Cushing, off Cushing stick, goes into the Bulldog zone, picked up by 21 behind the net. Brownlee, Brownlee's trying to come up ice, but there's uh, Lily Ferraro. Ferraro's doing a great job keeping it low. Now it's going back behind the net on the other side. Cushing's right there. She's gonna pick it up. Trying to go keep keep it deep in the zone, but number nine for the Bulldogs. Duncan's there. Puck comes up to uh, Johnson. Miley throws it on net. Kick to the side. Picked up by the Bulldogs behind the net is Kate, Katie Brownlee. Brownlee is met by Cushing on the other side. Brownlee and Cushion still doing battle. Brownlee comes up ice with it, throws it along the boards and chipped up by Maya Duncan to the blue line. We have a Bulldog penalty coming up. Bree Jarvis in front of the net, just trying to make room in number nine for the Bulldogs. Zoe Duncan was just doing what defensemen do. Get out of my net, get out of my crease. I I do not fault you for that, Miss Duncan. That's a <laughs> You gotta protect your goalie. You wanna get someone in a different color jersey out of the net, but uh, just get lower on her next time. You went a little bit too high, knock her over. So the Comets will come out of their power play. Alexander, Pocket, Richards, Cushing, Jarvis. Cushing over Jarvis. Jarvis back to Cushing, top of the umbrella. Cushing throws one in off a bunch of pads. Gonna be picked up by Arley behind the net. Arley throws it back around the boards. Gonna be picked up by Alexander. on a Far sides to, to Jarvis. Jarvis back in over to Cushing. Cushing whiffs on the shot. Still got it in her skates. We picked up by Bulldogs, number 17, and cleared Abigail Kopech. 
Throws it up ice, and Kopech is giving Jarvis pressure. I'm not sure Jarvis knows she's there. Jarvis throws it around the net, hits Alexander. Alexander's coming back, heading right back towards Kopech, and then turns away from Kopech, coming up ice. Jarvis, Alexander with the puck still, crossing the red line, in the zone now, setting up, passes back to Pocket. Pocket wasn't ready for that. Went off her skate and goes out and clears the zone. Be picked up by Jarvis. A little miscommunication. As soon as uh, Ray was inside the zone, I think Amber was heading to the net to set up station. And here comes Jarvis crossing the red line, blue line, getting deep. Wheels at the top of the circle, comes back in. She's got Alexander back to the side of the circle. Alexander goes, tries to go back to Jarvis, but intercepted by number 12 and kicked out of the zone, Kaylin Downey. Downey doing pressure on Jarvis. Jarvis does a nice little shoulder fake and juke jabs and comes up ice of the puck, throws it in Alexander skate. Picked back up by Jarvis. Bree crossed the blue line. Everybody's just kind of stalling on the blue line. The Comets got to pick up their feet here. Jarvis over to Cushion. Cushion throws one in off the leg pads of number 11, Mia Palego. Back up the blue line. Alexander or Jarvis with a slap shot off the pads of Patcher. Cushion just lobs a backhand high into the middle of everybody in front of the net. Skylar Smith steps through, clears his own. It's going to be picked up by number 12, Kaylin Downey, coming in on. Steele and throws one in on Steele. Downey had a great opportunity right there. Good move by uh, Skylar Smith to clear the puck. But no no whistle on the save by Steele. Everybody thought there was going to be a whistle. And then everybody just kind of took a stall. But here, come, uh, here comes Ray Alexander with the puck. Into the zone of the Bulldogs. Throws one. Looking far post. Uh, Patcher's over there with her glove save. Not an impressive power play by the Comets. They are usually a lot crisper than that. A little more... Uh, um, urgency, but uh, this one was just kind of laid back. I, I, I want to see some fire come up out of the Comets' belly here. they got to get hungry. Addy, po Addy Parent on the draw. Parent wins it back to Storm. Storm crosses the circle. She loses the puck a little bit, but picked up by Jillian Smith. Jillian throws it in. Now it's all even. Penalty. Bulldogs are doing a great job with pressure, and out come, comes Maya Duncan with the puck. Good pressure by Parent on Duncan, and Takes the puck off her stick in her own zone, but the puck is deep in the common zone. Jillian Smith and, and uh, Duncan, my Duncan, doing chase in the corner, but out comes Smith, and she's looking for Caster, but throws it up a little bit too high and intercepted by Edwards. Thomas finally get it clear of the zone, and here comes Mia Delore. Mia gets in deep of the zone, but it's going to be picked up by number 21, Kaylin Brownie. Brownie turns around and tries to come back up the way she went in. It's going to be met by Caster at the blue line. And there goes Brownlee again. Got the puck, throws it deep. Jillian Smith picking it up, pressured by number three, Duncan. Smith turns, comes up ice, throws a pass up through the middle of the zone. It does clear the zone. Goes a, gonna go the length of the ice, no icing. Everything's waved off. Comets are going to do a line change. Everybody but Caster. There's one right set up behind Caster. I'm not sure if she knows it. Pass does go to that girl, but Caster turns and, and retreats, and she has the puck. Going behind the net, looking for some help. Passes to Richard. Richard picks it up and tries to throw it back up the other way and chases the puck out. Try to chase out of the zone, but the Bulldogs are keeping it in deep. Alexander now with the puck. Steps around number 10 of the Bulldogs, Kaya Peterson, and she heads up ice. She hits uh, Pocket with a beautiful pass. Just crossing her own blue line. She hits Pocket at the red line. Pocket had a little head of steam, but uh, good job by the Bulldogs. Keeping her wide. What a shot in from the blue line. A little tip shot. Just sneaks past the post to the corner. Here comes Skylar Smith. Got some room. Looking to get out of the zone, she does. Puck is brought back, Jillian Matthews. Jillian takes the puck, passes it up to Alexander. Alexander hits uh, Pocket cross ice. Nice passing by Alexander in this sequence. No call there. There's uh, Amber and another uh, Bulldog player. We're just going higher in the corner. The Bulldog player went down, Pocket behind her, no call. Good no call. Good shot by 12 on Steele. Kaylin Downey, blocker saved by Steele to the corner. Puck is picked up by Jillian Matthews by net. Pressured by number 18, Carmella Livingston. Puck is still in the corner. They're trying to throw it out front. Nobody's in front for the Bulldogs, though. Now Alexander with the puck behind her net. Just turning around, heading back around the net. Nope, cuts short, comes up by the goalpost. She's looking for somebody. She's got Pockett up ahead of her. Brady's come for a change. Pockett's going up for a change. And Alexander just dumps it behind the net. Full, full lineup change for the Comets. Here comes Lamphere. Crossing over to pick the puck up. And Trying to hit Addy Parent with it, just it, just behind her a little bit. Puck brought into the comma zone. Thrown up high, blocker side by Kaylin Downey, but uh, Steele is there to get enough blocker on and kick it to the corner. Uh, Lamphere passes over to Fitzgerald. 
Fischero flicks it up ice and she's got pressure by Mia Pelego. Goes all the way down in the, the burn burn zone. Pelego backhands it up ice. There's McGinn there to pick it up. McGinn's on her backhand. She just chips it back down the corner. Picked up by Smith, or uh, Fitzgerald, excuse me. Fitzgerald back up to uh, McGinn. McGinn throws it through some bodies. Good shot by McGinn. Just caught enough uh, knee pad on uh, one of the Bulldog players to knock it down. Addie Parent giving chase to number 12. Kaylin Downey. Downey just comes up ice and she makes a beautiful pass up ice to Edwards. Edwards crossing the blue line. Stepping through the two Comet defenders, but she is met with uh, some resistance from uh, Myra McGinn. Myra just a little bit stronger upstairs, you know, and uh, shoulder to shoulder and down goes Edwards. Um, kind of tough position. I mean, great, great job Edwards to, to draw that penalty. When you split two defensemen like that, especially young freshman defensemen like that, somebody's gonna make a mistake. Now uh, the Bulldogs go on their first power play. Penalty killers are Jarvis Ferraro. Matthews and Richards. Richards trying to throw a luck out of the net, uh, out of the zone, but, but picked up by Jarvis and then over to Ferraro. Ferraro does a great job trying to pass it to herself. Um, good job by the, the Bulldogs, number 21, to keep her from going out, going in on the breakaway. Matthews backhand in the corner. Can be picked up by 21. Brownlee, Brownlee throws it around the boards, looking to get out of the zone, but there's Richards pinch in. And there's Ferraro pinching in as well. Puck is thrown up by said Edwards. Crosses in the zone, but good pressure by Bree Jarvis to take the puck off her stick. Now Jarvis is coming. Jarvis has got two Bulldogs to beat. On Inside the blue line, throws it a little wide of the net. Picked up by Skyler Smith behind the net. Skyler makes a nice little move, sheds Jarvis. Throws it back around the net to number 21, Katie Brownlee. Brownlee skating up ice with it. Hits Edwards on the center ice, center ice line, and Edwards crosses the blue line. She should be off sides. Yeah, she uh, got turned around just for the blue line, back into the zone, but picked her stick up off the, the puck. Um, if you're skating backwards in possession of the puck, I believe that uh, is not offsides, but as soon as her stick came off that puck, she put herself offsides. Minute one left in the power play for the Bulldogs. Alexander and Cushing out there now with Jillian Smith and Caster, Emma Caster. 21 for the Brownlee coming in with a puck. Thinking shot, lost the handle on the puck a little bit, brought it to the corner instead and looking to pass out front. Alexander now with a puck, has a little move, frees up herself at the blue line, and just turns and throws it the length of the ice. Callie Cushing going in behind the net to give pressure on to Skylar Smith. Smith puts it over to number 12. Downey, Downey throws it back to Smith, but uh, Cushing and Alexander are both there to give pressure. You got Caster back at the blue line if, if Ray needs her. Ray skates, top of the circle, throws one short post to the, the net, misses. Picked up by Cushing in the corner. Cushing comes out, same, same shot that, that Alexander took but from the opposite circle. This one is on net, glove saved by Patcher. For the whistle, we'll have a face off to the glove side of Patcher, her left side, 18 seconds left on the power play for the Bulldogs, but it looks like the Comets are running the ice at this point. Draw one by Alexander, back to Jillian Smith. Blocked in front by number nine, the Bulldogs, Zoe Duncan. Puck is down behind the net. And Brownlee throws it up around the boards, looking to get it out and uh, onto number Ab uh, 17, that big old stick, but the pinch and comments keep it in. The penalty's over, we're all even. Casters with the puck on the blue line. Throws one, tip shot off uh, number three stick, goes in the corner harmlessly, but good job by Maya Duncan, get her stick on that puck. Puck back out, Jillian Smith, boot. Takes a little shot, low, off a couple skates. Caster now, or uh, Cushing with the puck now behind the net. Looking to come out, looks like she just lost her edge here. She runs into number 17, Abigail Kopek. Kopek gets it clear of the zone to number three. Three hits uh, Maya Duncan on, on Maya's stick. Maya hits number 12, Kaylin Downey at the blue line. Count Downey took two strides in and lets one fly right into Dolly Steele's pads for the save. Good opportunity for the Bulldogs. Good quick passing. I mean, they when uh, there's a passing lane, those girls are not hesitating on their passing. They're making some good passes. Face off into the comment zone. Edwards on the draw with looks like Amber Pocket. Push back to Skyler Smith. Hired wrist shot by Smith. Pad saved by Steele. Picked up by Lancaster in the corner. Now it's going to be tapped out by Frady's. 
Skyler Smith is picking up on her own blue line. She's turned, looking up ice. Looking for number 17, Kopech. Just a little bit ahead of Kopech. Commas have control of the puck. Picked up by Lanfair. Lanfair over, looking for Frady's. It gets past Frady's on the Amber Pocket stick. Pocket now top of circle. Let's one rip. High shot, hard shot. Just uh, looking for that top corner. Just, just missed. Great move by Kopech coming out ice, passing it to herself off the boards. Across the blue line, takes a slapper. Just a harmless slapper to the corner. It's gonna be picked up by Lanfair. Lanfair coming up ice, and Lanfair's got some good wheels too. She's got some room. Here she comes, she's got two people to beat. Taking a wide. Not a lot of help coming. The comments going for a line change. Now Lanfair's all alone in the, in the den. Picked up by the Bulldogs, number 12 coming out. And Skylar Smith there, but Bree Jarvis is just there enough to make a mess and keep it in the zone. Now Edwards has a puck. She's looking to hit 18 across the ice, but too many comments in between. Couldn't get it to Livingston. McGinn picks the puck up from the net. She tries to throw it up up ice, uh, onto the, but it goes on the stick of one of the Bulldogs defensemen and throws one back in on steel. The girls seem to be catching their, their skates on the ice here. Puck is clear, here comes Cushing. She's got Ferraro in the middle, throws it off Skyler Smith's leg. Goes behind the net, Smith is there, doing battle, and Smith comes back out with it. Up ice to number 18. Livingston, Livingston throws it lengthy ice, gonna be icing. Two one, Comet leads still. 239 left in the second period. We got uh, Cushing, Ferraro, and Jarvis with uh, Matthews and Richards on a point. Jarvis won it, but back into her own skate and just kind of tied up, and the, the Bulldogs are able to get it. Out comes Livingston. Throws it up ice, looking to hit Duncan, but Duncan's stick got lifted. It's going to go the length of the ice, back down for a reset. Yeah, Bree drew, drew the puck back. It was coming back. It would have been great to the point, but her, her skate rotated at the same time, and she just blocked it. So Matthews, is he's, she's instructed Matthews to get a little closer to the face-off circle. So she's stepped in about 10 feet. Let's see if that gets back to her. Nope, she's going the other way with it that time. In the corner of the puck in uh, number nine, Duncan throws it around behind the net. It's cleared by Livingston and up ice by number 12. Kaylin Downey. So Downey at the blue line decided to go lateral to the line instead of crossing and uh, you, you, as a hockey player, you've got to get that line. You've got to get across the line, then make your lateral move. But what you did was you just drew your winger off sides. Face off outside of Comet's zone. Comet's controlled. Brady pushes it towards a, the Bulldog zone, but it heads back the other way very quickly. Edwards gets it in the deep, but Arlie Richard picks it up, goes behind her net. Pressured by number 10, Peterson and Edwards. Where Alexander steps back to help her, and Alexander makes a little room, and she looks up ice, just a good idea. She had Amber Pocket on a far wing, and she, she leads her a little bit too far, uh, and she hadn't crossed her headline yet, so it's gonna go all the way back for an icing. Alexander, is, her head's up, she's looking, she's trying to get people involved. Here we are, face off is gonna be in the common zone, minute 54 left. Alexander and Edwards on the draw. One by Edwards. Brought back to the point. Smith now has it. Good pressure by Paquette. Throwing a high shot in on Steele. Good shot by uh, Skyler. Uh, Dolly swats it down. A couple opportunities right there. There's a need another Bulldog player in front of the net to make things happen on those rebounds. Face off to the right of Steele. Edwards and Alexander again. One by Edwards again. Brought back to the point. Looks like 11, Pelego was looking to get it to Smith, but there's a comment right there. And here we go, Amber Paquette gets past Pelego. She's got Alexander steps through Smith, back in to the net. Boy, she could have got that little shower. Uh, Alexander's wide open on a fire post. Good job by Smith to keep him uh, tight up. We got a, I think it's gonna be uh, offsides, intentional possibly, it's gonna go all the way down. Minute 21 left. A lot of green and gold out there. I'm not sure what it looks like it for you folks at home, but <laughs> as a BFA alumni, I like it. 
So the, I like these colors. Draw one by Jarvis, brought back. Caster takes it, picks it up behind the net, but she's good pressure on Jarvis by Livingston. On, uh, excuse me, on Caster. Caster gets it clear. Jarvis picks it up outside the zone. Made a little run inside the zone, got bumped off the puck. Picked back up by Jarvis. Takes a shot, goes wide. Now Cushing picks it up on the rebound. Cushing top of the zone, throws one in right on right on net. Again, another save by Patcher. Puck is trying to get cleared. You got Caster right here, wait for that to come. She got uh, Ferraro and Cushing pressuring two Bulldog players, and it does come to Caster. Settles it, takes a little soft throw into the net. Swatted down by 12 for the Bulldogs. Downey, now it's cleared from the common zone, uh, the Bulldog zone, picked up by Jillian Smith. Jillian Smith soft pass over Jarvis. Jarvis is met by Livingston right there and, and forced to go back the other way. And it's gonna be picked up by Jarvis again off Livingston's stick and then she's gonna try to make some room. She gets by a couple. She's in the zone now. She's looking to make a couple more moves. She's got some, got some help. Good, I mean the Bulldogs are really, really focusing on Bree when she's got the puck, they're putting some bodies on her. Puck is picked up by the Bulldogs, but Caster's there to take it off their stick, throw it the other way. It's back in the comma zone, picked up by Caster, going deep behind the net, and the clock will run out. So we got some, we got the Comets there uh, after two, leading 2-1. Two they are making the, they have much better attempt that period of uh, getting other teammates involved, uh, trying to get some passes going. But the Bulldogs are doing a great job skating with the Comets. They've, uh, they got 17 skaters, two goalies, so they got a, a big bench as well. Um, they're putting two people on a puck or more, uh, really hustling, skating hard. So the Comets, it's not an easy game for them. Uh, they're, they, they've just got to use each other more, pass that puck, spread the ice a little more. I like the Bulldogs' uh, vision. You can see, definitely see that they've got some good vision on the ice, and they're making some good cross ice, pa ice passes and passing lanes. Uh, they're not throwing the puck into the Comets' skates on those passes. So they're just giving them some opportunities, but the defense on the Comets are doing a great job keeping them wide. So we'll see what the third period brings. Um, and one more shout out to our wonderful sponsors. This broadcast would not be possible without our community partners. Thank you to Northwest Rehab Services, Sticks and Stuff, and Swanton Lumber, Northwest Counseling and Sports Services, Afterglow, Stones Auto Repair, location St. Albans and East Fairfield, Notch, Vermont, JC Image, Union Bank, and the Collins Pearly Sports and Fitness Center. If your business would like to support the efforts of Northwest Access TV to help broadcast live games of Franklin County athletes, contact us at 802-782-8676. And then one more little special announcement that really needs to be made. Uh, over the last four years, our Northwestern Counseling and Support Services has been in partnership with the Afterglow Foundation, working to prevent suicide deaths in our community. If you're concerned about yourself or a loved one, there are people in our community that can help. Reach out to NCSS 24 hours a day on our confidential emergency line services. No, uh, services line, excuse me. 802-524-6554, and then press 1. Or you can just dial 988. One call can save a life, folks. So get yourself a snack, get yourself a drink, and I will be back here in 10 minutes to give you the last period of this wonderful game. 2-1 game, folks. It's anybody's game on a cold night in St. Albans. See you soon.
Welcome back to the Collins Pearly Sports Complex, ladies and gentlemen. Burton Burton taking on a BFA Comets. Walking into the third period of a 2-1 game. Great little motivational song playing. I, I'm not really going to hold back. I want to sing it, but I'm going to give you all a little bit of break from hearing my singing voice. But we'll see what happens here. What kind of adjustments are made? Uh, Comets are using a lot of their bench, which is good. Good experience for the girls. We'll see if... Uh, They'll continue with the puck movement. Burn Burton's doing a great job defensively. Patrick's doing a stand-up job in net. She's squaring up on the shots. Both goalies are uh, giving some rebounds here. So, I mean, it's just giving some opportunities for the other players, but the defense is right there to help minimize it. Comments being pulled into the... Last minute little speech. Bulldogs are all set to go. Setting up at center ice for the draw. You got Edwards going to be on the, the draw. The Downey. Kalen Downey on uh, one wing. Followed by number 17, Abigail Kopech. You got uh, Brownlee and Skyler Smith on the blue line. Bulldogs are pumped up there. Skates and sticks are making some noise on the bench. They're ready to go. Draw one by Alexander. She has a little wheel, but picked up by number 12. Downey. Downey over to 17. Kopeck. Puck is bounced around the comma zone. Nobody there, but here comes Downey to throw it deep. Picked up by Arlie Richards behind the net. Edwards giving pressure. Edwards comes out with the puck. Met there by Jillian Matthews. Alexander meets Edwards, who's coming back around. They throw the puck up uh, cross ice over to Gabby Frades. Frades clears the zone with it, but met at center ice, but it goes back on to Alexander Stick, who dumps it. Good pressure by Amber Paquette. And Alexander and Frades go for the line change. Paquette's keeping the pressure down, making, making the puck stay low. Here come the Bulldogs trying to come out of the zone, but uh, Cushing's right there to keep it down deep. Throws it towards the net back in. You got Jarvis now going to be picking up on the far corner. Trying to pass it to herself off the board to get around 21. Jarvis is still in the corner working hard. She's got Cushing out front. Puck is taken off Jarvis' stick by Downey. Downey throws it up ice. Clears the zone. Can be picked up by Jillian Matthews. Matthews hits uh, Jarvis. It comes off her skate and deflects away. But Jarvis able to skate to it and pick it back up. Takes a little wheel. She's coming out of the zone. She's got some speed. She's got Cushing on the far side. Jarvis is at the hash. She's looking. Hit Cushing. Beautiful pass, and Cushing just could not handle it. Looking for the one time, that was just a, a that's a pass that is uh, you don't see many like that. That was a beautiful pass, far side of the board. She just lasers it across the front of the net, and that was tape to tape. But uh, Cushing tried to one time it and just shot a little bit ahead. Offside, face off, outside the zone. Good pressure by the the Bulldogs. Bulldogs doing a good job pushing the puck through on the face offs. Ferraro picks the puck up, throws it down in the zone. Cushing gets past Cushing, comes back out. Cushing's still deep in the zone. Jarvis doesn't see her. Offsides. Yeah, we got we got some offsides that help being uh, from outside the, the rank. He's got it, sir. Draw one by Jarvis, brought back. Nobody's there. Uh, we put Cushing wide on the wing to do a breakout and then uh, brought the defense up to cover, so that left just Johnson back on the point. Oh, we got a little tough pass by McGinn. Backhands at the center of the, the defensive zone. No place you want to do that type of pass. Bulldogs could not handle it. Now they're, they're still doing battle behind the net and it's going to be picked up by Jarvis. Got to watch out for those, those uh, defensive zone passes. Jarvis coming out with the puck. Good pressure on Jarvis by number 12. Downey. Jarvis gets by Downey, gets it into the zone. Two Bulldog players just slid into each other. And, uh, one is down and she's hurt. So number 12 lost her edge, Downey, and slid into the back of the legs of, I believe that's number 11, um, Mia Pelego. It looks like it was, she just landed on her back. So it's one of those, those type of hits where you knock the wind out of yourself. She's up. Skate into the bench before the trainer could get to her. It's, you know, I'm sure she just got to catch her breath. When you get hit unexpectedly like that and you land on your backside like that, it just kind of surprises you. 
Faceoff is going to be in the Vern Burton zone. Alexander on a draw with number four, Edwards. One by Alexander. Got tied up a little bit in the skates, but Amber Paquette was able to pick it up. Amber was getting pressured, and she just pushed off on the girl and put her to the ice, and Amber's going to come to the box. She's going to have two minutes to think about that. You, as soon as your arms separate from your body, folks, especially both of them, and your stick's in front of it in a cross-checking mode, you are more than likely going to have a little bit of a break. Right in front of Derek Tatro. We're glad to see Derek's hamstring is held up. He's still upright, moving. It was right on top of that call. Faceoff is back in the common zone. Edwards on a draw with Alexander. Walker side of Steele. One by Edwards, brought back to 21, thrown into a bunch of bodies and picked up by 17. Nice shot by uh, Bramley, but uh, a lot of bodies there and picked up by Kopech. Now it's down in the corner. Kopech puts it over behind the net to Edwards. Edwards comes up to Smith. Skyler Smith drops down from the point to the hash. And Skyler throws a nice hard shot, but right on Steele's body. It uh, ends up deflecting. It's cleared out of the zone. Pass over to to Smith. Smith is looking for Kopech on the far side. Kopech's got it, crosses into the Comet zone. She's going down deep, looking to set their power play up. Comes around the net, hits Smith at the hash, but it gets past Smith and is going to be picked up by Alexander. Alexander's got a one on one, but Smith is back checking there. Good, good job by 21 Brownlee to push Alexander wide, and now she's got support there to help her. Edward, uh, Alexander backhands it to the top of the the circles there, looking for Arlie Richard. Arlie throws one in off a bunch of bodies, and this only goes to the corner. Harmless, excuse me. Coming back up ice is Kopech. <coughs> Kopech takes it behind the net, looking to set the power play up. Smith is just a little too deep on that side of the umbrella. Um, no time once he gets the puck. Picked up by Arlie Richards off of a battle with Smith and sent the length of the ice. 42 seconds left on the pocket penalty. Brownlee coming up ice with the puck. Jarvis there to meet her, but Brownlee skates around her. Goes in deep and tries to throw one from the face-off dot, but it goes uh, off a tip stick over the net. Here comes Jarvis. He's going to get that puck, and she's going to have a little space. And can she get to the net? All alone, she does. Backhand trying to go five-hole. Patrick was reading it all the way. Nice, nice save by Patrick. One of the most dangerous players in the state coming down on you, and she stood her ground. Bree could have kept that puck on the ice. She'd have had that just got off her back end, kind of elevated a little into Patrick's uh, pads. Addy Parent on the draw in the Bulldog zone. 16 seconds left on the pocket penalty. 10.40 left in the period. Bulldogs making a few substitutions. Good job by Parent. Tying the puck up, keeping it in the zone. Cushing's in there with her. Now Pocket comes, uh, Parent comes back up top of the, the faceoff dots, picks the puck up and throws on wide the net. She's in the corner with Skylar Smith. Throwing battle. Smith gets a puck up ice to Kopech. Kopech goes across ice. She's looking for number three, Duncan, but uh, intercepted by Callie Cushing. Just enough to slow it down. Now we're all even. Jillian Smith up ice to Lamphere. Haley Lamphere crosses in. She's got Parent, but Tied up by the Bulldog. She was looking for Parent, trying hard to get that puck over to Addy. Addy was streaking down the far side all alone. Good job by the Bulldogs. Just to get enough of Lanfer's stick. Puck is still tied into the zone. Com three Comets pinching on the boards, keeping it in. Cushing now has the puck. Throws, looking to Lanfer across ice, but there's too many Bulldog players to throw that puck through. Picked up by Caster. Goes deep, flicks it back to the front of the net. Picked up by Alexander. Smith now with the puck. Alexander giving pressure. Smith just runs into Cushing. Puck is now cleared and brought up ice by Maya Duncan. Duncan across the blue line, hits Edwards. Edwards, nice little uh, soft shot in on uh, Steel. Uh, those, those are the type of shots, you, they're gonna be, they're dangerous. It was flat on the ice and it's going five hole and Steel dropped, made a nice pad save. Face off is going to be the block, uh, glove side of Steele on her left. Alexander on the draw wins it. McGinn's got the puck going behind the net. Stepping, going back up. She's dangerous in that center in front of the net. We've got to keep her wide. Puck is now picked up by Marley Johnson. 
throwing up the Euphrates, but kicked back down in the corner. And now Paquette picks it up on the far hash, and she clears his own with it. She's got Alexander ahead of her. Too many people in front between them. So she offs to dump it deep. Euphrates is on the far side, picking it up. Oh, great job by number 21, pushing the puck through Johnson's 12, pushing the puck through Johnson's legs. Going in on a breakaway. Steele with a save. Puck deflected over Steele, goes behind the net. No one knew where it was, and now comes Alexander with a puck. Alexander gets it across his own. Uh, number 17, Kopech flicks uh, Alexander's stick as she was trying to shoot and stops uh, that attempt. Now here comes the Bulldogs, number four, Mia Edwards. Up place with the puck, stopped by Frady's, but picked up by Kopech. Kopech now has the puck deep in his own. She's looking for something behind the net, coming up ice. Looking for 15, but it's deflected. She's been looking to hit at least Hornby. But the puck is now on his own, picked up by Jarvis on the, the Bulldogs' blue line. Had a couple bodies turn around through, she gets clear. Good job by Kopech getting her stick on, on Jarvis' stick. She was loading up for her shot. The Bulldogs gonna have the penalty. So that play uh, just prior to that on the breakaway, uh, number 12, Kaylin Downey just streaking up the ice, pressuring on Marley Johnson on the blue line. She gets her stick on the puck, pushes it through Johnson's legs. Steps around Johnson, goes in for the breakaway, and a great job by Steele on the save. And now we got uh, Katie Brownlee is in the net, in the, the box, excuse me, the comments are on the power play. Cushing with the puck top of the circle, trying to step around. She gets around number 12. Downey takes a shot, goes wide of the net. Rare shot of uh, Cushing going wide. Puck over to Jarvis. Jarvis a little bit. Reaching a little bit long in that pass. You know, move your feet. Girls get a little close to each other. Make, make the short pass. Cushing now the puck back up to Jarvis. Jarvis, top umbrella over to Alexander. Alexander skates. Skate kicks it up to her stick and makes a shot. Goes wide of the net. Picked up by Richards in the corner. She She was looking to backhand it out to Cushing, but she misplayed it a little bit. Jarvis is there to help. Jarvis picks the puck up. Top of the, top of the circles. Throws one in. Blocked down by the Bulldogs. Take your time, ladies. Work the puck. Alexander with the puck now. Her and Jarvis are switching, switching places. Jarvis just, or Alexander just throws it in, looking to make something happen with a bunch of bodies. Slow the power play down, ladies. Spread the ice and make it happen. Alexander behind the net with the puck. Coming out, getting pressured by number 12, Downey. Steps around Downey. She hits Jarvis on the blue line. Jarvis has got a little speed, crosses the red line. She's in the Bulldog zone. Just making making things happen, making some space to herself. Now pass it over to Cushing. Cushing tries to backhand it over to Jarvis. But the Bulldog players are playing high on the on the penalty kill. Goes over to Alexander. Alexander picks one up, floats one into the net, picked up by uh, Pocket on rebound. Another hard shot. Patrick's there again. Patrick having a heck of a game tonight, folks. He's seen a lot of pucks. Jarvis is just circling with that puck, throwing it down in the corner to Pocket to Pocket to Richard. Richard tries to just backhand it between her legs. Um, you never know. It's a good good attempt by Arley. Patrick with a save, covers it up for the whistle. 22 seconds left in the penalty. 2-1, common lead. And folks, this is uh, the way this game is going. That's not a safe lead. It's anybody's game. Don't go away. 6.27 left. Frady's on the draw with Kopech. Won by Frady's. Back to McGinn. McGinn just throws it wide of the net. You got uh, Number three for the Bulldogs, flicks it past Jillian Matthews, my Duncan, and it goes the length of the ice, but no icing. Picked up by McGinn behind the net. McGinn just throws it out the boards, looking for Frady's. A Bulldogs, Kopech pinching in, and then we got a penalty gonna happen to Frady's. Frady's took a whack at Kopech's skates. Looks like she's a little uh, rescue wood out of the rough there. Uh, Frady's will be going to the box. 6.03 left in the third. Comments will be playing a player down. Bulldogs on the power play. I hope that was a frustrating frustration whack by Gabby. Timeout, Bulldogs. Gonna give a, I'm sure he's going to give his uh, main horses a little rest so he can make a good attempt on this power play. But the problem is he's going to give our horses a little rest as well. So see if the Comets make an adjustment with who they have on the ice. But they still have, they got uh, Jillian Smith, Jillian Matthews, they got uh, Ferraro and, and Jarvis. That's that's four people you really don't need to change. You keep those four on the ice, they're gonna do a good job in the power, penalty kill. 
Um, but it's a good time for the Bulldogs just to settle everything. You know, they've been playing. They, you know, they're not out of their uh, their league for for sure. They're playing with the Comets um, the whole game, and that uh, you know, surprising. Uh, uh, you look at some of their some of their games and their scores, and, and I thought maybe the Comets might have a little room to breathe, but uh, the Bulldogs are on top of them, skating hard, filling open ice, making great passes. So it's a good team. We could see them. You never know down the playoffs how, how things work out. It's, it's hard for me to even tell what the divisional lineups are. So many different teams. So Bulldogs come out with Edwards on the draw with number 12. Downey on the wing. And looks like uh, 11 on the other side, which would be Plago. Smith on the point with 21. Brownlee. Richards clears the puck. A little wrist shot out of the corner. Goes all the way down. Can be picked up by Brownlee behind the net. She's just wheeling and coming right up. Pressured by Jarvis. She just throws it up ice, but right onto Jillian Matthews' stick. Jillian tuck passes it to Jarvis. Jarvis goes back in. Tries to do a little toe drag, but it's poked off her stick by Brownlee. Jarvis has still got the puck. She's skating in the corner. She's got Ferraro right there. Jarvis is just killing the clock, eating the penalty. That's what you're supposed to do. Nice pass to Ferraro in front. Ferraro back in, oh, uh, Bobby Orr leap through the air, back in attempt, just goes wide. Bulldogs clear the puck, Edwards up to up ice to number 11, Pelego. Pelego throws one towards Steele's uh, right side, Steele reaches over to left hand glove save. Face off be over to Dahlia's right side, blocker side. Good job by Jarvis, just eating some, eating some clock up in that zone. Out comes Alexander on a draw with Edwards. Bulldogs staying with the original. Well, they, they got Kopech out there now. Smith, Skyler with the puck, top circle. Alexander gets out and gets her stick on uh, Skyler's shot, deflects it to the corner. Matthews and Kopech in the corner. Jillian tries to throw it up ice off Kopech's stick up in the net above the glass. So there's going to be a whistle, stoppage of play, and they will come out of the zone for that. One minute left on the Frady's Gibby's penalty. Five minutes left in the period. Faceoff goes wide, and there's a couple big bodies right there, Richards and Smith. I'll tell you, they're probably the two of the most stout skaters on the ice, colliding, and uh, Smith got the best of that one. Kopech keeping the puck in the zone, throwing it behind the net. Richards picks it up, being chased by Edwards, throws it over to Matthews, gets past Matthews, up, goes up the, the boards to number 21. Brownlee, Brownlee just back into back in the corner to Edwards. Edwards looking to go back over to Kopech, but there's Alexander to intercept. Ray's trying to skate around the, the net with the puck, but she's met by number 12. Downey gets the puck back out in front, gets a swat. Ed, the puck uh, ends up uh, loose in front of Steele, and Edwards takes the backhand swat into Dahlia's pads. Dahlia holds on for the save. The Bulldogs are really great, great pressure. They're always putting two people on the puck. And the Essex did this to us last game as well, and it, uh, or two games ago, pardon me. Um, Thomas got to learn how to handle that. They got to move the puck. Can't skate with it if they're going to have two bodies on you. Move it. One by Jarvis back to Caster. Caster goes around the net. She's looking for a pass. Intercepted there by the Bulldogs, number 12, Downey. But it is clear of the zone now. Jarvis is in Caster. Now Caster's got the puck. Jarvis is in front waiting for it, calling it. Caster pushes it up, gets past her. It's going to be picked up by 21. Brownlee, Brownlee crosses into the zone. She's got some space and she, oh. Another bouncing puck deflected, goes just wide of the net. That was a great opportunity for Brownlee. Here comes Jarvis coming out of the zone with the puck. She's got Cushing up ahead. She skates past Cushing, she's in the zone. She's got uh, Ferraro going far post. Skylar Smith kind of gets in high on Jarvis and upsets her a little bit, takes her off the puck. Then comes up ice, but is intercepted by Ferraro. Now Cushing, backhand puck through the crowd. Look for a little sauce pass into Jarvis right in front of the net. Comes out to Jillian Smith. Blue line, Jillian throws it through a crowd and it gets all the way through. Goes to the corner, he's gonna be coming out. Ice, uh, it's met by a couple comments. It does clear the zone, it's picked up by Jarvis again. Jarvis crossing the blue line. She's staying right there in the center, trying to find the shooting lane. There's a lot of Bulldog bodies right there blocking the shots. Good job by the Bulldogs clapping on, collapsing on the defensive zone. Now you got uh, Jillian Smith chasing back to get the puck with pressure on her from Downey. Turn around, goes the other way, and Jarvis gets the puck, crosses the blue line, takes a slapper wide of the net. 
Bree had some room there. I'm surprised she didn't take that in. She's tired, going off for a change. Puck is on Edward's stick now in the common zone. Throws one on to Steele. Steele swats it down with a glove, picked up by Frady's. Edwards pressures Frady. The puck is now behind the net, picked up by Alexander, with Edwards giving uh, pressure on to Alexander. Alexander retreats, goes the other way to Richards. Richard goes cross ice, looking for Pocket. Chip pass off the off the boards. Pocket in for a breakaway. Skylar Smith gets her. Smith had, no, no goal. We got waving off. No, uh, Smith had got enough of her stick on Pocket to, to the take away her break, uh, breakaway attempt. Uh, the girls up here in the booth started blowing the horn, thinking there was a goal, but there was a great job by Patcher on a save. A lot of pressure going here. The, the refs were right there. I mean, there was no goal. Good uh, defense by Smith and uh, Patcher. A little bit of a hairy uh, play right there. Uh, uncertainty. I'm sure the coaches will probably come up with a lock on the horn. <laughs> Icing uh, is resulting from all that little hairy skating all the way back down into the Bulldog zone. Bulldogs are going to have uh, Kopech, Edwards, Brownlee, and uh, Peterson, I believe it is, on the ice. Peterson trying to come out, met by three Comets on the blue line. Goes back out, and here comes Brownlee with a puck. She's got some room to skate. Good back checking by. Uh, Ferraro keeping her wide. And Caster getting her stick in there. Puck goes wide of the net. Caster now going behind the net. Giving chase to the puck. Pressured by Peterson. Puck comes up to Cushion. Cushion gloves it down to herself and pushes the puck out of the zone. It's going to be picked up by number nine, Z Duncan, Zoe Duncan. In her own zone, looking up ice. She hits Kopech in the, the center ice. Kopech is inside the zone now. She got Edwards in the center ice. and A floating Peterson. But the puck is taken away by... Bree Jarvis, Bree come off ice. She's got Callie Lam uh, Cushing across ice, hits her with a pass, a little behind her, but Cushing's able to control it, get it in deep. Picked up by Jarvis now behind the net. There's a little collision there behind the, the net with uh, Cushing and uh, 21 Brownlee. Brownlee hit Cushing. Cushing's coming off for a line change. Patterson throws the puck wide, or Paquette throws the puck wide of the net. And picked up by Bree Jarvis on the blue line. She takes a shot right in the chest of Patcher for the save and the whistle. 49.8 seconds left. Forty-nine point eight seconds, 2-1 game. Face off in the Bulldog zone. Edwards and uh, Alexander on the draw. Uh, one by Edwards. Thrown back in the corner, number 11. Pelego, Pelego throws it over to Smith behind the net. Smith up ice to Kopech. They're trying to clear the zone, but the um, Jillian Matthews and Ray Alexander are there to keep it in, throwing it deep again. Gabby Frady's down in the corner, giving chase. Good pressure on Plago by, by Frady's. Plago just throws it up ice, looking for a home run pass, but it, uh, Arlie Richards is there to intercept. Arlie takes it in the zone. We got a whistle here, folks. Find out. Um, Richard had the puck in the zone. She passed up ice and she was looking for a pocket. Alexander skated out. Uh, unsure why that whistle was blown. So uh, the Bulldogs are going to get caught with an illegal substitution. They're pulling a goalie. Uh, this is my interpretation now. They're pulling a goalie, and before the goalie got to the boards, the player going on hit the ice. Well, the goalie's got to clear the ice. Looks like they just blew the whistle and did a reset because uh, there's there's still five on five. 20 seconds left. Puck is won by the, the Comets thrown in on Patcher. Picked up by Smith. Smith throws it up ice, trying to clear the zone. Comes back to her, and she tries to flick it again and, and kept in by Jillian Smith. Deep in the corner is Amber Pocket and Skyler. Skyler throws it up ice and it's picked up by Ray Alexander. Ray kills the clock by a little tangle by the boards and soft pass Julian Smith. Or Matthews at the blue line and the clock is zeros. Comets got uh, got away with another one right there. 2 1 game. Uh, the Bulldogs had a long ride up from Manchester. Uh, they played a great game. Uh, definitely showed no signs of any uh, weary legs on that bus ride. Uh, the Comets were able to get Dolly Steele. Uh, an opportunity to, to
put a full game in in the pipes, and Dolly did a great job. Uh, one uh, quirky little bouncy goal got past her. Other than that, she, you know, she was she stood on her head. Did a good job back here. And the girls are going through the line, shaking hands. A few of these girls are teammates in the Vermont Shamrocks in the, the split season. But again, uh, let's reach out to our sponsors here. Uh, this broadcast would not be possible without our community partners. And I want to thank you to Northwestern Rehab Services, Sticks and Stuff and Swanton Lumber, Northwest Council and Support Services, Afterglow, Stones Auto Repair, and St. Albans and East Fairfield, Knox, Vermont, JC Image, Union Bank, and the Collins Pearly Sports and Fitness Center. And if your business would like to support the efforts of Northwestern Access TV to help broadcast live games with Franklin County Athletes, contact us at 802-782-8676. And then uh, one more little um, acknowledgement here. That over the last four years, Northwestern Counseling and Support Services has been in partnership with the Afterglow Foundation working to prevent suicide deaths in our community. And if you're concerned about yourself or a loved one, there are people in our community that can help. Reach out to NCSS 24 hours a day on our confidential emergency service line at 802 524 6554, then press 1. Or you can just always dial 988. One call could save a life. Uh, comments will be on the road Saturday, and we'll be back here in this lovely complex uh, the following Wednesday for another game. So be sure to tune in, not just for Comet hockey, but look for the, the Bob White hockey, the basketball for the, the BFA and uh, MVU teams. Uh, a lot of great athletes out there in this area, folks. So uh, tune in, catch a game. You never know. Uh, have a wonderful day. This is Dave Jackson signing off. Stay warm.